irk in the community right now is this stupid wall that we have in between red and blue. Uh, it's not as bad as it used to be right now, but just to get that out of the way, I'm an vegan like everybody else is, and Morph OS, as far as I'm concerned, is very much in the spirit of Amiga OS. I'm gonna show a little bit of that. Um, getting into it, so this is 3.11. This is the latest version. It also runs on the X5000 very well. I have it running in the back if anybody wants to see it. With a clean install, what it looks like straight off the CD. This is one of my personal setups, so I have it all set up to with everything that I like to have on it. One of the first things a lot of people say is they don't like the way that Morph OS looks like out of the box. Uh, but the easy, nice thing about that is, is you can make it look however you want. Um, I kind of have mine set up more of uh, an Amiga look, so if I open the windows, you can notice it looks very much like 3.1 or even 4.1 uh, Final Edition with the way things are. Um, another cool thing that I like to show is if I go into my work partition, I actually pulled some of the icons off of, of my 4.1 stuff, so you can see they are compatible, and these are straight straight off of the CD. So you can go through and like you say, you can, it's, it runs the same icons. Uh, some, of the, some of the familiarity things is, so you, if you go into system, just like with any old Amiga, you have your typical stuff, your preps, applications, classes, devs, docs, you know, your locale, your tools, they're, they're all very similar. So if you do a view all, you can see some of the similar things, like your C directory, libs, L, it's, it's all set up the same way. So as far as API goes, Morph OS and Amiga OS are, they're, they're pretty much identical. Uh, you can run Amiga applications the same way on here that you can on, on Amiga OS 4. Um, as long as they don't bang the hardware, it's, they're compatible. So what I can do is I'll go in and I'll, run, I'll try to run something classic. Uh, in the same way that UAE runs on OS 4, it, it also runs kind of a little off on, uh, on here as well. So hopefully I won't get a crash. Is it something that I know runs well? I'll do lemmings. Everybody likes lemmings. So I have it integrated in right now with UAE so that I can run it and it kind of looks seamless. So, classic crack intro, just, just <laughs> like on any Amiga. So basically right now I'm running it as an A500 through UAE, and so it's integrated into here. So you can see it's, it's very quick. And this is a power, this is a PowerBook 1.5 gigahertz G4 machine. Uh, it's the last PowerBook that Apple released just before they, they went to, um, to MacBooks, so it's there is also a 1.67 gigahertz version of this of this machine. Uh, you can find them anywhere. So if anyone wants to try more for us and don't want to, would, I heard somebody mention about changing your video card out on the X5000, which is unfortunate. You do have to do that. However, Bigfoot is working on, from what I understand, getting the 7750 card working. It shouldn't be too long. Um, a stopgap, you can get a 1550 off of uh, eBay, they're everywhere for like nine to 10 bucks. And they support full 3D and, and everything, and they also work with uh, 4.1 Final Edition, really nice. You can get the 512 megabyte version of it, like I said, for about 10 to 15 bucks. The 256 version, I've seen them as cheap as nine, $9. So it's not expensive to try. And you can throw a PCI Radeon card in there, like a 9200, and leave it in and you can switch back and forth that way if you wanted to, I've done that before. So, so I'll, I'll run my real fast, just as a quick, show you how, how it works. So they are working on a 7750. I, I do hear that it works. 
Uh, another nice thing with Morpheus, but now it's also OS 4 as, as well. All of the hardware is supported natively in MorphOS on the X5000. So Ethernet, sound, uh, it, it all works. So you don't, there's nothing you have to do. To, you don't have to go find the drivers. They're all they all come with the live CD. So you can see it, it, it runs Amiga, just just like the so the uh, big fear is they don't feel like it's Amiga, but it, it runs Amiga very well. This is really easy to set up. If you can do it in OS 4, you can do it on this. So I'll exit out of this. So the same way you get out of it on a thing, you just control off Q, it gets you right back out in the environment. Um, so going into your preference panel, I'll show you a little bit of it. So this is what Press looks like uh, in Morph OS. So if you wanted to change your screen, like I said, if, if you don't like the way that this environment looks, uh, the first thing I like to show everybody is, is your screen. So you can actually go in and if you decide, I don't like it. So here's a, a you can notice there's a preview down in the corner. So if you decide that this is the way you like it, all you have to do basically is just say okay and hit use. And I've instantly got a different look. I can go back, do the same thing. Uh, if you like the OS3 sort of look, you can do that. Say use and now I've changed it again. So it's, it's really easy to get a skin. There's a ton of skins online. You can go to the Morph OS deposit, file depositories. There's several of them. Um, you can go through Morph Zone and there's a bunch of links to different ones. There's 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 a ton of them. There's Morph OS files. There's, uh, you can go through the, what's it called, Grunge that you can download other ones. There's, so getting skins is it's a piece of cake. And there's, I mean, there's a ton of them. You can, any, you can imagine. And you can get pretty crazy. So I prefer my 04 one, so it looks, looks like OS 4.1. And what's that one called? Which one? Uh, I guess, I'm guessing you're picking a theme to... Um, of 4 is the theme that I like right now. Oh, okay. So that makes it look a little bit more like 4.1. And you can do the same thing. So I'll actually go in here. So if you don't like these icons, I'm not going to do it to one of my good ones. But I mean, it says it's, if you notice the way I'm getting around here, it's very familiar, I'm sure. Uh, creating new icons and stuff, I just you just right click and do it. It's the same way you've always done. So I'm just going to do this one, just call it test. So go into information, just the same way you've probably been used to. And if you like the OS4 style drawer instead, I'll just grab this one for the sake of doing it, and then save on it. So now you notice it, I've changed it, and it now it's a totally different look. You can go into the same way that you do it on any Amiga system and go into M Archive. And if you want to do a deep, if you want to default your stuff, you can drag all your files in there, copy them, and it will. When you reboot, it'll replace everything as it normally does. Um, there's there's a couple of kits. Ken has actually made. It's not here this year, unfortunately. <coughs> Ken, with Ken's icons. He's actually made a really nice set for MorphOS that looks like a little more Amiga-like that you can use. Um, so if anyone has anything specific they want to see. Yeah, isn't there a, a, des a new desktop publishing program that works on more for us? It starts with the letter C. I don't know the name of it, but like calligraphy or they, the there desktop is, publishing app? There's an email app that we're using right now I, called Iris that works really nicely with Gmail and things. It's only more for us specific. The desktop publishing app, I don't have it, okay. I don't think, but I, I do know what you're talking about. It's, it's very basic. But the nice thing about Unfortunately, I can't get on the internet here. I don't know why. The landing page doesn't seem to work with Odyssey. But Odyssey has been updated. Um, the version on here is, is a lot newer than what's what's in 4.1 and available. This actually works perfect with YouTube. Uh, full screen, video streaming, no problem. It works with most banking apps. It works with uh, G Docs. So if you go into Google Docs, 
and almost all of the G you know, Google applications, it works with them. They just, just, um, <coughs> spreadsheets, it works with um, Google Drive. There's a Google Drive client that you can plug, just like for the same one as you know as for. What about uh, Netflix? No, Netflix doesn't work. That's that's the same issue. It's their their DRM. There's there's no way to do the DRM loads. Amazon Prime. <laughs> Um, I haven't tried Amazon Prime. Um, I stream from my Flex server at home, and it works on there. I can, can stream all my stuff from my, my home PC using my Flex client, which is kind of nice. We'll do the YouTube uh, like 60 frames. Yeah, it's, it's really smooth. It's nice. Um, as far as games go, um, I don't have a mega racer on here, but almost all of the games that come out that aren't, so anything that's like work 3D Nova or anything like that, it doesn't obviously work on our, but the tower, the tower game that uh, Trevor had showed the other day works on here really well. Uh, there's a client, uh, there's the Wings that is someday gonna come out, uh, the remake. That actually works really well on here. Um, there's a Rocket Ranger that got released that works on here. That, that's Morpho as Amiga. So the nice thing about it is, if, if whoever's doing Morpho as software and whoever's doing Amiga as four software, if, if they're if they want to compile it, they can easily compile it for both systems because the APIs are very very similar. So it's just it's just a matter of, of doing it. Um, there's a decent printer support. And here's how you would configure a printer. Uh, there's network printers built in so you can put serial parallel. Is there a left Amiga M? <laughs> left Amiga M? To switch screens, I think he's asking. Yeah. I'm not sure. It doesn't, it doesn't work for M. I don't know what that is. No. Well, you've only got one screen. Oh, so yeah. Uh, if, you, if you wanted to hook up multiple monitors on here, what, what you would have to do is you, you go into your uh, Ambient. So Ambient is Workbench. It's, it's more plus his name version for Workbench. And if you notice where I was earlier, so you go into preferences, and you go into screens. If you had multiple video cards, you would actually have two different line entries in here. So you would go through and you could select one or the other and it, and it would display it. So you, you could pick what you came into. So you'd open up on the second monitor. And initially it would probably it would be dual displays. You'd go into the second monitor and you could pick one thing or the other and, and do it that way. It's kind of clunky, but it, it, it does work. Does it show just a particular um, screen, or is it like on a Mac where you've got an extended desktop or anything like that? With the second monitors, the you monitors. could you could if you said ambient, you wanted to have it on video card or radio on ninety two hundred, it would display whatever you sent to that. And if you picked on the other screen here, it's it's clunky. Like I said, you have to actually physically go in and do it every time. Gotcha. But it's yeah, it's it's not it's not as I haven't done that on four point one. Okay, go ahead. You have the software development kit on there. I know they got a syntax highlighted. Not, not on my laptop, I don't. Okay. But you, it's easy to get. It's free. You just, you just download it and install it. I, okay. I don't do any software development, so I took it off of my laptop. But oh, okay. It's 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 available. It's, it's pretty nice. Up there. They just released a new one with 3.11. Yeah. Yeah, the, I think the new one's got uh, Objective-C. It does. Uh, so that's another good question. So M MUI is built in to Morph OS as well. Um, but you can do it. So you can, if you come here, you can see all the different versions. So MUI is on here. This this particular machine has the Altebex support, so it's. The thing, obviously on the X5000 it doesn't, but if, if your machine supports Altebec, it's native in here as well. Does it support QT uh, <coughs> application? Is there a QT? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> um, so, um, wallpapers. I mean, it's. I'm not too sure where what you guys want to see, but I, like I said, just the general environment is, is pretty. Oh, I do have a mini racer on here. So the latest version of the mini racer is actually pretty decent on that thing. So, got the joystick support going. When it runs.
that's pretty, pretty deep. And I think it runs just as well as going forward. Travis is like the arcades in 1983. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too into these games myself. <laughs> Is there a astronomy program from Air Force? I know there's not digital universe, but is um is there like a port of um, No, but the one the old one for Amiga works on it. Oh the original one. The, the 68K yeah, one. Really the 68 K one. Okay. It, it runs on it. Does Distant Suns work on it? I think Distant Suns runs on it. Cool. Okay. I wish I had it. That's great. It doesn't run on OS4. Oh really? Mm -hmm. No. Distant Suns does not work on OS4. At least not for me. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yes. What's the It, it depends on the platform. So laptops um, are more expensive than the desktop versions of it. Uh, for a, on a PowerBook, the last time I checked, I think it's 125 euros to register. I have to double check, and it's like 70 something, 78 on the X5000. I think it's the same price if you have a G5. Um, they lowered the prices. I think it's the same now. I think they have merged all together. It's like one price. It's like 90, 95 euros or something. They might change it. I, I can't really check on here, but yeah, it's 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 not too bad. I mean, considering considering what a PowerBook costs or a G5. I mean, I, I when I got this thing originally, I only paid twenty five dollars for it. It, just, it didn't it didn't work. They they said, but I threw a new drive in it and it worked just fine. I got my G5 tower um, last year on the way to the airport going on a work trip. I happened to look at Craigslist when I was sitting sitting at a gas station and someone in LA had one 25 bucks. So I stopped by his house on the way to the airport and lugged it with me on my work trip on a plane. Um, I mean, 25 bucks and then on top of that you pay another 80 bucks or whatever it is for a key. It's pretty cheap. And the G5 tower, if you find, I use a two a two gigahertz one, that is, it's I mean it's a speed demon. It's it it puts my X5000 for a good run for its money, and I'm running a 8500 uh, video card in that thing. That's not even the greatest video card in it, but it, it does a really nice job. I'm using my X5000 mostly now just because it's easier. I don't have to have two giant desktops under. Which of the G5s does it support? Uh, PCI-X and PCI-E models? Or PCIe no? models aren't supported. It's not yet. No. Just PCI -X. So, yeah, the very last model is not supported, but every other model is. Wasn't there a 2.7 gigahertz G5, the last? There is. I'm not sure if it's, that's a PCIe or X. Can you repeat the question? What's that? Can you repeat the question? Which one? All of them. <laughs> oh, well, we can start with this one yeah. and ignore the previous one. It supports one. all of the G5 <laughs> models. It's not the answer to the question. It, except. What was the question? Oh, repeat the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so there was, uh, I think that the last time they made a G5 was like a 2.7 gigahertz right. air-cooled model. I think was the last of the G5, right? Does it uh, more it, or less run on that? It doesn't support that one, no. If it's, that's, that's the PCIe versions. None of the PCIe versions work. They did, Apple, I think, did something in the, in the firmware on it that they haven't quite wanted to deal with. And like I said, the 2.5, the, the two, I think there's even a slower, the single processor ones, the dual processor ones, they all work. Only single processors, just, just like any other Amiga does, but they all work really well. My favorite personal one to use is the two gigahertz one, just because it's air cooled, it's quiet, it supports everything. Some of the other really cool, I, on here, I, I can't do it because I don't have multimedia keys, but the other nice thing about the PowerBooks, I, I honestly feel the PowerBooks are, and the G5s as well, is if you use a Mac keyboard with the G5, all of the multimedia keys work. So on here, if I open the lid, it's gonna it's gonna switch over to the screen instead of here. But if, when you run the volume, just like on a Mac, it actually puts the overlay up on the screen, showing you the, the computer and up doing the monitor volume with the, with the with the bars and stuff on it. Same thing with brightness. Uh, it shows all that stuff. It's, it's, Supported very, very well. I mean, the, the team did it, and they made a job on this stuff. Um, it, it does that on all the Macs if, if you use the, the function key and the, and the multimedia along the, the 
F1 through F10G and stuff. It's it's really nice. But it, it runs it runs very well. It's like almost anything you want. Uh, let's see if I got. I mean, does anybody want to see anything specific? I've got a ton of junk on here. How does Iris work? Is it nice? It works very well. Um, like I said, it's I don't have internet, so let me see if I can. If it's on here. I think you have to download. Yeah, I had to download that since I just updated this. It's, it's gone. Okay. It, it does work very well. Because if you have a Gmail account, it's just as simple as logging into it, just like anything else. It, it works. I mean, it works with uh, uh, Yahoo Mail. Works on it. I've tried Yahoo Mail. Um, Hotmail or whatever, Outlook.com. I mean, it works on it's that. It's actually got WebKit. Yeah, it's WebKit it, built into it. Yep. That's pretty neat. And, and, and Jocka, I believe, is the one that does that. Jocka decaps. If, if you can see him, he's pretty prominent and more cool as well. He's actually one of the guys I think that brought it to the laptops originally. Uh, what kind of PCI cards are supported? What kind of PCI cards yeah. are supported? Uh, Radeon. Aside from Radeon. Cards, aside from Radeon, like, if you wanted to do like audio or video, Pretty much anything that worked on on Amiga back in the days worked will work on it. So it's it's specific. So you like USB cards or NEC based, you're still under those same limitations. Uh, Sound Blaster cards that have, that have the MU 10K chipset on them will work. Um, as far as Ethernet for PCI, it's the the Realtek 8139 and the older 10 one, the what was it 29? I think it was. I don't remember what the 10, 10 megabit versions were, but they, they work. I think it was an 8129. But the 8139, which is a pretty famous card, the Mediator guys made that pretty famous. They, they work out of the box. Uh, you don't have to find the drivers at all in here. So I might actually be able to go here and see. I part of what made the Amiga like, really cool back then was like, all the desktop video stuff. You Right. There, there is a actually video toaster that it got bought out. Who bought that out? It, there's an open source video toaster now that I believe it's software based that you can do some stuff. I haven't messed with it because I'm not into that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know, has, any, has anybody messed with the video toaster open source stuff? No. No. There's there's people. Um, I haven't tried any of that, so I, I couldn't answer that. So, so there are people who, uh, the, the question is around the, the open video toaster that Bill uh, P. Pugulius, sorry Bill, uh, encouraged new tech to open source, created a website, documentation, is pushing hard to keep it alive. There is someone who has the switcher interface started. Like it'll, it'll boot without the toaster. Okay. That's what I've heard. So someone is actually working on trying to get it to run, but I think that's also on classics, not the NG stuff yet. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Yeah. So someone's doing something. But there's still Tidler, more or less, right? There, there is some stuff like that, yeah. The, 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 uh, for, for video, Tidler. You, you, can, you can do some I know. I oh. wish Thomas Morris would have, would have come. Uh, Magnetic, I don't know if anybody remembers Magnetic from, from back in the day. So he used to do Magnetic System. He was really big into video. And he still does some video stuff on classic hardware. He uses his Pegasus too, with more voice that does a lot of PCI stuff. Um, he would have been the one to ask. And Blender also works on it. Blender, Blender, Blender works on it very well, actually. I might have that. Yeah, Blender works really, really well on it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So. No one's got any other questions. Like I said, um, as far as docs go, this is PDF, native PDF. That's some of my hardware crap. But it, yeah, that's the other thing that's kind of nice. There's, there's a PDF that reader built built in. And it's, it's the PDF, so it's kind of like AM PDF. It's, it's similar to that. But it works very well. I, I use it nice, nice zoom, and the, the text is, is really nice. So it scales pretty well. Printers, so does it work with uh, wireless? It does work with wireless printers. printers. You use the same the same way that you would do it on, on Amiga, you use the, uh, what is it, NetPrinter.device. It's the exact same setup. And I, I actually believe if you go into preferences, there's a NetPrinter section in there. Wasn't there a Gutenprint port also? 
Is that integrated into 311? Not too sure. Does Morpho have trouble with turbo friends? It does. Turbo friends built in the, in the Morpho S. Okay. Yeah. So that means like HP type of compatible. H HP, there, there's yeah. several in here. So let's, let's see if I can find my printer directly and give you an idea of just how many printers are in here. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. So the way that I print, actually, is I have my, um, I use Google, and the Google Print Services, if you've ever done that before, I do that, and I can just print straight that way. It, it works from everything. So my network at home, wherever I print, I print from my phone, from wherever, it, 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 it does it that way for me, so it works pretty well. But as far as printers go, like there's, there's multiple printers in But it, it's, there's several printers. When you install it, it asks you for printers as well. There's it's pretty much anything as HP. There's a whole bunch of Epson printers in here. There's, there's, there's plenty of printers. So MUI5 comes with 3.11. Great idea, and it's, it's similar. You can set up all your stuff. So you can actually get a skin for MUI as well and make it look like OS4 if you wanted to. Yeah, I, I don't do it. This is, you do it the same way. How multi-monitor support? Okay. Multi-monitor support, like, like I said, it's, it's clunky. It's, it, I, don't, I haven't really tried it too much, um, unfortunately, my power. But, but you need multiple video cards to do it. You can't plug in, like if you have a HDMI and a DVI, you can't plug in both and have it display in two separate things like you would on like a, a Mac or a PC. It, it doesn't do it that way. You have to do it with two video cards, the same way you would like on a mediator or on a on a mediator with multiple RTG cards. Um, everybody likes games, right? Is it anyone else? Does any other? I'm not the best demo. <laughs> it's all good. I think we're good. But yeah, I mean, but it's. It's it runs very well. It's it's worth giving it a try. I mean, and you can you can get it and run it for thirty minutes, completely unrestricted. So if you have an old Mac lying around with that Radeon card in it, that's the thing. It has to be a Radeon card. So the PowerBook, uh, the Mini PowerBooks will not work because they came with uh, uh, Nvidia cards in them. And the some of the the smaller iBooks as well, the little twelve inch ones. They won't work because they came with uh, NVIDIA cards. So an iBook 14 inch works. Power, all the power books will work. Uh, the, if you have an eMac, the eMac works. Works pretty well actually. Mac minis work. Um, like I said, most of the G5s work. All the G3s work. The mirror drive. Max, if you see those, they they work pretty well. Pretty much, pretty much all of the power power Max work pretty well, and you can find them for next to nothing. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, here. So there you go. <laughs> they didn't kill. Like I said, the overlay. Like I said, how it works. Pretty pretty neat. Your, your screen brightness, your volume.